and welcomes me with a warm welcome. All the teachers were phenomenal. And I said, well, I better step up. So I hurried up and I pulled all my stuff together, 13 years of teaching, and I said to the class, none of you in this room are dumb. I don't ever want to hear you call each other stupid. And from this point on, we are going to work together like corporate America. And they said, what? I said, I am training you for corporate America, and you are not leaving the room unless you are ready to be promoted to high school. And all of them looked at me and they said, Miss Griffiths, you're crazy. And I said, no, I'm not. You will learn. And they did. And when the visitors came out, they couldn't believe it. My students were reading sixth grade novels. They were discussing in depth the character motivation of why the spy decided to go on the airplane and fly off and become a counter agent. And we were just totally blown away. And one student looked at the other and said, my mind is blown. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're saying this. The presenters are here. And one of my most challenging students this year, and we all have I, I was praying that day, please, please, let him be on his best behavior. Please, God, please. You know, I said I was free for a month. But I came. Please, dear Lord. And my prayers were answered because that day, not only, not only did he have the book up in the right direction, but what was amazing was, is that the first, as they came around to talk to me, he said, well, would you like to come to our group? And I have a young girl who's autistic, and I have a few others who are really challenged with reading. And every single one of them shared heartfelt what they have learned so far about the books and writing and reading. And it was incredible. And I'm sitting there holding back the tears, going, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm so So I love teaching, and I'm so, so, so grateful for this award this evening. Thank you, Mr. Adams, for having faith in me. Because you took a chance on me after being out for two years, and I'm just totally blessed to be there. So thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to start the uh, second part of our awards tonight, our community awards. Uh, the first person we're going to bring up, presenter we're going to bring up is uh, the South Chicago Chamber's former president, um, John Rosales.
uh, Sasha Chicago Learning Center at City, Co at City Colleges, and uh, they weren't very happy to find out that I was leaving like right then. So um, pretty much banished from the office, I found myself that day uh, downtown. Been downtown ever since. Um, it's a great position, but again, you know, it's not like the neighborhood. It's, it's not. I had my own tamale guy, you know, a 95th commercial, and now I can't get any type of tamales whatsoever downtown. So it's great to be back. I have to tell you, I miss all my friends. I didn't say goodbye. I'm, I'm saying hello. It's great to be back. You know, once and John and, and Al Sanchez will tell you, once you become a public official, everything you say uh, becomes public record. So I want to tell you from my heart, because I have no skin in the game at this point in the South Chicago anymore, but just to tell you how I feel. Um, and then I'm telling you this because this is the truth. Um, in my decades career of working in all the positions that I've had um, with um, business, at Coca Cola, within the state, within the county, I've never worked with an alderman that I enjoyed so much at Alderman Chapel. I want to be honest. But tonight we're honoring Tom Shell. And if you ever saw the movie, Dave, if you, anybody from the movie be Dave, Kevin Klein, looked like the president, and uh, he brought his friend into the White House to take a look at the books, if you recall. And this is pretty much how it works at the South Chicago Chamber of Commerce. When I was president there, I asked Tom for his honest and sincere opinion of what we needed to do. And he looked me straight in the eye, just looked me dead straight and said, we better hire someone. <laughs> so we hired someone. But the books are really hard. And, and you know, I want to um, let everybody understand that everybody in the South Chicago Chamber of Commerce and everybody in SSA number five, I guess they're all in SSAs, but I was SSA number five, they work so hard and they work for free. Everything they do is all volunteer. And so I wanted, want everyone to know how much work they put into um, making the community so successful in terms of working with the Chamber, and working with the SSA. And Tom is just a beautiful person. Just like Kevin Murphy, who received the award last year. Kevin, you there? Take a hand for Kevin Murphy, please. When you go to heaven, Kevin's gonna be there. And when you go to heaven, Tom Shell is gonna be there. They're just good people. He works with the, uh, the disadvantaged. He's been doing this for a number of years. And he just works so hard and volunteers so much that I had to ask when I left, on the run, because they were kicking me out, um, I asked President Adrian, would we give this award to Tom Shell? And he agreed that this would be um, the perfect gentleman to receive tonight's President's Award. Tom? Well, yeah.